Alrighty guys, I'm excited to show you guys today one of the only, not the only, a few left free antivirus programs that are worth it, that work well, and they're freaking free. Alright, a lot of antivirus companies are just going nuts and just charging you guys for an arm and a leg just to be protected and to have your computer protected and oh my god, it's just driving me nuts, but uh, a much underrated uh, antivirus program called Panda, Panda Antivirus, and this is their website here, and they're very underrated, and I could see why they're not really trying really hard. If you look at their website, it doesn't even look very well, but nonetheless, this is the website. They do have a free version, as we could see here, uh, and this is what it looks like once you install it. If you guys want to install it, uh, I will post a link on the on the link on the I will post the link on the description of the video below. Uh, so you can download it but if you notice you go to products here on their main website pandasecurity.com you can see right here you can go to free antivirus and they have it right there now this antivirus is pretty loaded here it is once you download it it looks kind of weird I know but uh, what's beautiful about it guys it's got a lot of stuff right when you go to scan here very user-friendly well it kind of looks a little weird at first but just focus on the buttons down here guys Here's the scan tool, little magnifying glass, full scan. That's the way you want the one you want to go with. If you want to try a critical area scan, you could try that. But full scan is always the best. You can always do a custom scan as well if you kind of know where the virus is at. That's more for advanced users. For you beginners, full scan is where it's at. And not all. F What's crazy is some other antivirus programs want you to pay to be able to do this other stuff. Can you believe that crap? It's just ridiculous. It's just freaking ridiculous. But anyway, uh, all right, here we have antivirus. If you click on antivirus, you can click scan now. Um, it'll show you any quarantine items from before. You could turn your antivirus on and off up here on this green thing. Like I said, very user friendly. You can schedule a scan on a free antivirus program. You can schedule a scan. Check this out. Some other antivirus programs want you to pay a bunch of money for that. Bunch of money. And let's not let's not even try to ignore the fact. Look at these prices, right? If you were to go for the more advanced ones, look three ninety nine, four ninety nine, seven ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. Are you kidding me? What other computer? What other antivirus program has these very low prices? I'm, I'm serious. Panda right now is my favorite right now. Come on. All right. Let's look at what else is here. VPN guys. What other free ant? Show me another free antivirus program that has VPN. We're going to test it too. Now, the free one doesn't let you connect to any other uh, country, only to the U.S., but we're, it's all right. We're going to hit connect, and it only has 150 megabytes of usage. I would only use it like if you're doing banking or if you're uh, trying to get away and trying to go like, uh, if you notice, if you go to the news in a different country, it'll not show you the news that you're used to seeing. For example, if you're in the U.S. and you go to Mexico like me, I, I went to foxnews.com and Mexico and, or CNN news in Mexico and the news were different. It wasn't showing the exact, it was the same website, same website, but it shows me different news. I used the VPN, connected to USA, and then I saw the USA news, and which made me realize something's wrong with the news. But anyway, that's a whole nother freaking conversation right there. We're focusing on antivirus here. We turned it on. We're going to test it out. We're going to go to what is my IP address. We're going to search. And it's telling me I'm in Virginia. And trust me, I am not in Virginia. I live in the southwest part of the country of the United States. And it's saying I'm in Virginia. So it works. It works, guys. It works. Cool. So we know that it works. Let's go ahead and disconnect it now. Uh, let's go back to our thing here. All right. So the VPN works and it's free. Are you kidding me? I mean, you only get 150 megabytes, but dude, come on. What else can you ask for? Um, it, you can look at your device, protect other devices and stuff like that. Here is if you want. And this is a crazy thing too. It's a free antivirus. And you can actually get it with the free one, it looks like. Contact us is right here. Sure, there's premium services here. 24 hours, but check it out. They have free for for free <laughs> free diagnosis look at that man i'm telling you all right so if we click on the hamburger on the upper left hand corner we go to 
settings. I want to show you guys some more stuff here. If you go to antivirus, well, general, let's look at general first. Here, you can actually do a login password if you don't want nobody to go in there. And it's important to do that because there's viruses out there that will go and turn off your antivirus. If you got this set, the antivirus, the virus itself can't do that to you. Uh, you could do gaming mode. You could do a lot of stuff here, guys. A lot of stuff. Antivirus. If you go to antivirus here, uh, let's go up. Okay, you can actually turn on to scan compressed files. Ask before neutralizing a virus. In my case, I use that because I have a couple of what quote unquote hacking tools that sometimes it picks up as a virus, but it's not. It's just one of my tools. Um, white hat ha hacking guys white hat okay don't get crazy on me scan compressed files scan after cache synchronization that's more advanced stuff usb protection you got a usb thumb drive you want to act automatically vaccinate the usb turn it on that way it doesn't affect your computer if there's a virus in there process monitor uh to leave that on and then of course we got our vpn which we we're looking at dude this is awesome i like this uh I like this free antivirus. It's awesome. And check this out. When you scan, you can minimize it and then use more. And then you can go do other things with it. Some other antivirus programs where you're scanning, you're stuck. That's all. You you got to wait for the scan to finish before you can do anything else with it. This one's there. All right. Let's take a look at what PC Magazine had to say about it. All right. The pros is it's free. You can vaccinate USB drives, which we were looking at that. Dark web scanner. Wow. That's crazy. Appealing interface, like I was saying, it was it was very uh, user friendly. Uh, the cons, it's got mixed scores. And the lab results, we're going to take a look at the lab results and see how it did. Mediocre scores and tests. No protection against dangerous or fraudulent URLs. Uh, failed against modified ransomware. This is a free antivirus program, guys. Don't forget that it's free. And uh, you get what you pay for, right? I'm sure you've heard that before. So this is like you know. What you expect from a free antivirus, right? You got malware scan, but it doesn't have all the other stuff because it's a free antivirus program. The paid one probably does better, but uh, it's free, guys. Come on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, what, what the test results were. So here we are. Where is Panda? Panda, 7.5. That is kind of low. There's other antivirus programs that have more like 10, like McAfee had 10, Kaspersky had 10, um, F-Secure 9.1, you know, MESOFT. So on and so forth. So the 7 out of 10 is not that great. It's not that great. Let's look at the other test that they did. Because I know they do two tests. Where's the other test? Unless they only did that one. It looks like they only did one test on it. Yeah, they only did one test. Not the best free antivirus. Gorgeous nature themed. Uh, I mean, it's going to do it's gonna do what it needs to do, guys. It's free. If, if if you're on a budget and you need something that's free and you need to use VPN once in a while, it, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i say it's all right. It's all right. You know, uh, we're going to give it a three out of five because of the low score, the seven score that it had down here. Only because of that. Other than that, if it had a, a high score, we would give this a really good rating, guys, like a four out of five probably. But we're going to give it a three out of five because it's got the 7.5. It's one of the lowest might be the lowest score for the lab results because we want to see what the lab results say right because an antivirus program is only good if it performs and 7.5 out of 10 is not very good so three out of five stars guys uh very nice free antivirus but the paid ones are going to give you better protection uh, thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next antivirus video